Today, I'll show you how you can create your own set of passport photos. First, I'll show you how to do the 2 inch by 2 inch size, and then I'll show you how to do the 1.5 by 2 inch photo size. Now, I've already placed an image on my desktop, so I'll simply drag it over and drop it in the image window. Now before I start, I'm going to reset my tool options back to their default settings. And to do that, I go to the bottom of my tool options panel and find the button that says reset to default values. I hold down my shift key and click on that button. And then I click on reset to confirm it. Now I'll also reset my filters. I click on filters in the menu bar and come down and click on Reset All Filters and Reset to confirm it. And now I need to crop them. So I'll click on the Crop tool in the toolbox to select that. But GIMP is digital and it's based on pixels. So I'm not going to crop them to a specific size. I'm going to crop them to a specific aspect ratio which matches the size I want. And as I'm doing the 2x2 two two photo first, I want my aspect ratio to be a square. Now to get that, I come down to the Tool Options panel and I find the word Fixed. By default, it should be Aspect Ratio. And I click in the little box beside it to select it. Now underneath, is the current aspect ratio and I don't want that. So I select it and I type in the aspect ratio for a square which is 1 to 1. So I type the number 1 and then I type the colon symbol. Now that's two dots one above the other and it's just to the right of the L on your keyboard and you need to use the shift key when you type it. And then I type 1 again and press enter on my keyboard to confirm it. Now that's given me an aspect ratio of 1 to 1, which as I said is a square. So I place my cursor on the canvas and I drag out a square over my teddy and release the mouse button. Now at this stage, I can still alter that selection. I can place my cursor in a corner and I can drag that corner in or out to resize it. And I could place my cursor in the center and drag it around to reposition it. And when I'm happy with the selected area, I simply press the Enter key on my keyboard or I click inside the selected area. Now to make it easier to work with, I'm going to scale it down. To do that, I click on Image in the menu bar, and I come down and click on Scale Image. And I'm going to change the width to 800 pixels. Now because the chain's linked, when I confirm the scale, the height will automatically change as well. So then I click on Scale to confirm it. Now six 2x2 two two inch photos fit exactly onto a 6x4 photo paper. So now all I need to do is create an image that fits onto a 6x4 photo paper and put six of these 2x2 two two inch photos on it. And it's a lot simpler than it sounds. I click on Filters in the menu bar and come down and hover over Map. I go across and down and click on Tile. Now in the Tile box, I need to unlink the chain. Now a 2x2 two two photo fits on exactly six times. That's three times across and two times down. So I times the width by 3, 800 times 3 is 2400, and I times the height by 2. 
800 by 2 is 1600. I don't particularly want a new image, so I'll uncheck that box and click on OK. And GIMP's done it. It has brought it in off centre, so I'll use my slider bars to centre it up and put it in the image window properly. Now this image is ready to be exported and it fits exactly onto a 6x4 photo. So when you get it printed as a 6x4 photo, you will then be able to cut it into six exact 2x2 two two inch passport size photos. Now I'm not going to keep this image because my teddy doesn't really need a new passport. I'm simply going to close this and discard the changes. And now I'll show you how to create a one and a half by two inch set of passport photos. Again, I'll drag my photo in off the desktop. And again, I'll reset my tool options. I go to the bottom of my tool options panel, find the button, or down my shift key and click on the button. And then click on reset. And I'll reset the filters. I go to the menu bar, click on filters, come down and click on reset all filters and reset. Now as you can see, my crop tool is already selected. But if it wasn't, I'd click on it to select it. And then I come down to the tool options and click in the box next to fixed again. And I select the current aspect ratio, which is still one to one. And this time I want my current ratio to be one and a half to two. So I type in 1.5, hold down my shift key and type the colon symbol and then 2 and press enter on my keyboard and that's given me the aspect ratio of 1.5 to 2. Now I drag out a rectangle over my teddy and again I can adjust it if I want. And when I'm happy I click inside that selected area or press the enter key on my keyboard. Now I'm going to scale him down again. So I click on image in the menu bar. And I come down and click on Scale Image. Now this time I want my width to be 600 pixels. So I type in 600. And the chain's still linked, so I just have to click on Scale. And the height will automatically adjust. Now this size fits onto a 6x4 photo paper exactly 8 times. This time it's four times across and two times down. So I click on filters in the menu bar, come down to map and across and down and click on tile. And again, I unlink the chain and I need to reselect the width. And as I said, this time for one and a half inches, it's going to fit four times across. So I times the 600 by four. And again, I get 2,400. It only fits too high, so I select the height, and I only times that by two, which again is 1,600. I don't particularly want a new image, so I'll uncheck that, and then click on OK. Now once again it's come in off centre, so I'll simply use my sliders to centre it up. And there it is. Now that's ready to be exported as a new image. And if you get this new image printed onto a 6x4 piece of paper, 
you will get eight exact one and a half by two inch passport sized photos from it. Now that may have sounded quite complicated but as long as you use the same numbers that I used you will get the same results no matter what size your original photo is. But please don't forget if you've got any problems or suggestions don't hesitate to leave a comment. Oh and if you found this tutorial useful or it made sense please give me a thumbs up so that I know.